All right, hey everyone, Andrew at Microphonic Designs here in the Houston area at Barbers Hill High School today. And we've had a super long setup today. They have a very large ensemble, uh, but they purchased all brand new cabling from me. I had everything pre-color coded, ready to go. And I'm excited to give you all the tour of what we worked on today. And let me kind of show you the paperwork as we've sort of been doing uh, in the last couple of videos. So before we really look at the actual front ensemble, here is the paperwork. So you'll see it's pretty big. We've got six marimbas uh, along the front. We've got vibraphones one and two, and then we've got uh, bells, glockenspiel. Um, this is a, uh, it's a xylophone with the Yamaha DTX on it. And then we've got vibes three and four. We've got two synthesizers over on side one. The configuration has changed a little bit, but they're still together over in this area. They're just more in a diagonal. We'll kind of see that here in a few minutes. Uh, and then we have um, one of the synth carts. I think the synth one cart has the uh, Yamaha Modi X. And then the other one has another synth. I can't remember the model, but that one's got the SP404 Mark II as well. So we'll take a look at those. We've got in the back wind ensemble stage that uh, they purchased a, a Shure VP88 from me as a part of their package. And then they're also gonna be uh, featuring a guitar and a bass guitar. Um, I have no idea what their show is about or what the title is, but I know it's got guitars in it, so I, I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. And then we have, um, I'm not gonna give away what the prop is so that you will look up their show this year, but uh, they're essentially gonna have a solo piano up here as well as, this was a change today, it's not just a piano. Originally, I was going to run stereo. You see here, I had planned for two cables to come from it. We're going to do the piano in mono, which is right there. So we're going to run that thing, mono DI box, to the, to the front ensemble, and then we're going to have a vocal mic there as well for any narration needs. And all of this encompasses the full 32 channels in their Yamaha TF5. Uh, and here's a quick look at the input list. You'll see we've got everything all the way down, 32 channels. And then this was the cabling list. So two total full pages of cabling list. It was a lot. Um, let's take a look at their mixer. I, I hooked, a, hooked in the iPad to my wireless router to kind of show them how to do it. They're gonna look into buying one of these things uh, so that they too can do wireless mixing from the band tower or up top in a stadium rehearsal. Very handy to be able to do that type of thing. Um, as you may be familiar, if you've seen some of my other setup videos or you've been around the channel a little while, I like to do all of my marimba channels all together. We keep the vibes together. And then we've got the vocal. So this originally was piano left, piano right. Uh, but we're going to use this one as the vocal mic and this one as the piano uh, input. We've got synth one left and right, synth two left and right, the SP404 left and right. And then if I switch layers here, you'll see we've got DTX left, right, guitar, bass, the VP88 left and right, which isn't really left and right. Like it's two channels. It's technically left, right, but we're not having like I'm not going to have them do a hard left and a hard right because that mic is right there it's going to be on the 50 and I'll show you guys the special combo cables that we built and everything um back there once we get to it so uh so actually Austin let me uh can you put that cable back over there for me real quick I'm so sorry they're clean the directors are cleaning up but I want to show you guys what we got going on uh I'll help you wrap it up <laughs> after we're done um, and then we've got wireless one and two, which we have here. Uh, we've got two units of wireless right there. And I helped them move all of this stuff into their stadium creations, I guess, double two and a half uh, wide mixer cart today. And what's really neat is that the um, stadium creations guys, yeah, there they are, uh, did this like sort of custom kind of IO panel for them. And this is my first time really working with a Stadium Creations cart. And there's definitely some things I really like about it. Some things that uh, I may have done a little bit differently, but it's gonna work great. And I think that this type of, um, you know, like new, brand new item is just awesome no matter what. And then it looks like I even, I just now noticed this, we've got hidden door over here, which is great. Um, and so as far as their speakers, we've actually got four speakers that go across the field. On side one, we've got two sets of passive speakers. And over here, we've got two sets of active speakers. And we've, they've done it this way. And I know people are gonna say, well, why don't you do one of each on each side? Well, we talked through the options 
and we decided that this was the best course of action because of the cables that they have. So the mixer card is not gonna be on the 50, it's gonna be further on side two. And the cables that they have for the active speakers are just longer. And so they're able to reach more distance going over to side two versus the speak on cables they have for side one. And this is a classic situation of like, you know what, we're gonna use what we have uh, in the best way that we can. And this happens to be it for, for this particular school. Um, so that's what we're going with. Um, taking a look at the front ensemble, let me kind of show you the map one more time so you can get an idea. We've got four zones. We've got a snake that goes out to the synths, a snake that comes in for marimbas one, two, three, and those back row vibes. So that would be one, two, three, and the two vibes back there. We've got uh, a snake coming over here to marimba four that carries the other three marimbas and the two channels coming from the the uh, like up front at the podium from this synth. So we've got marimbas four. Uh, three, four, and five. No, no, it's three, four, and five. Sorry, these three here. Um, and we'll take a look at that. And then the final snake we have goes back to the back row. DTX, two vibes, and the four inputs from the very back. So let's take a look at that. Uh, we'll take a look at this first marimba pod to start with. Now we're gonna be adding additional mics to some of these keyboards, so you'll see I've measured out the cabling so that they've got plenty of slack when they mount the, the mics to this keyboard. These cables come this way, and they meet with this secondary marimba. Look at that cabling. Y'all know how I like to do it. Nice, clean, and solid. Oops, and I forgot to cut a tag off of this one. I'll have to do that. And then we have here, this was a, a very different uh, configuration than I've ever really had to do. We discovered that some of their modular snake breakout cables had some broken channels and they had extra boxes. So we opted to use these uh, breakout boxes uh, instead of the breakout cables. And so this is kind of what it looks like um, underneath the marimba. And they've got the core cable prepped and ready to go with the tom arm. There's the cables carrying over the marimba three signal, which again, I did the cabling as clean as I could. There we go, blue mics. And then we did a custom combo cable or a custom two channel cable right here with the braided sleeving and the heat shrink to go right back here to these two vibes. So we got the yellow and the green. So this cable here just goes straight back to meet where those two uh, join in. Real awesome stuff. This snake over here for this, this pod on side two is housed uh, at the bottom of marimba four and it's the same thing. It's another breakout box that we've mounted to that center support rail. And there we go, we got the cables coming across. Here are the attachment cables or the, uh, the jumper cables for marimbas uh, five and six. And y'all know how I, how I do, keeping it crisp. There we go, nice and clean cabling. And so again, the cabling for these two marimbas just comes in this way and adds together. And there it goes, right there. And then we've also got another tom arm right here to hold that core cable so that when they roll into place, they can pass it forward and it goes along to the mixer cart. And then down here at the top end of marimba four are the, uh, the two cables that the piano or the, the vocal mic and the piano. So the vocal is going to be single and the piano is going to be double yellow. And so it attaches here because presumably this would be like the 50. And I'm sort of guessing that this prop that they're gonna have is gonna be on the 50. So again, the mixer cart would be further over that way towards side one. The back row vibe has an actual breakout cable. So let's take a look at that. This one is a, a fairly straightforward pod where we've got the cable for uh, Vibraphone 4 coming this way. And you'll see we've got the blue cable there and it'll attach to the blue cable here. And then here we just have clean cabling for that Mod Snake, right? So there we go, the cable's coming across. Here we are, looking good. And then on the xylophone, we've got the cables disassembled right now because they're gonna kind of, they still have to work out exactly where they wanna put the DTX on this instrument and how they wanna run power. But we've got the cables color-coded, prepped, and ready to go. And that signal is going to cross over to right here. And then moving back even further, we've got the four-channel 
combo cable, braided sleeving, heat shrink. There we go. This is for the two guitars and the VP88. I wanted it to be like one easy cable for them to use. This extends out. And this is like the cable for the VP88. Again, I did the braided sleeving and the heat shrink to run back to this here, the VP88. Uh, just a beautiful mic. And this will be for their like soloist, uh, small ensemble stage. And then we've got two cables here that'll kind of be over in this zone for the guitar and the bass guitar. And they've got DI boxes and all that stuff ready to go. Synthesizers are really only the last section here we have to look at. They've got these really nice covers in the front. I really like the look of that on these open frames. We've got a DI box here for Synth 1, the Modi X, looking clean. And again, like with these zip ties, like it's not going anywhere. We've also got, guess what? Another braided sleeve bundle coming across from Synth 1 down here to the breakout box. And we've got this thing like taped on there, double-sided tape, not going anywhere. On this cart, we have a Yamaha Moex 8 and the Roland SP404 Mark II. Got them set up with a new onstage DD2050 uh, DI box, a pig hog stereo uh, instrument cable. We've got the radial uh, Pro D2 box here. And then we've got a quarter inch cable from the pass through of the DB2050 and the headphone jack of the Moex 8 going into the monitor speaker. And so again, I've got that real clean. And then I've run these cables here just down the side. See that? To right there and they connect into that snake so that's pretty much it y'all just a quick uh a relatively quick walkthrough of this system i'm trying to keep it relatively short so that we can all go home and get some dinner i'm i've got the grumbles i'm hungry we started at about 10 o'clock this morning and it's probably about 8 30 by now uh so a long 10 plus hour day um but this was a big ensemble and even having all of the cables prepped and color coded Still took a long time because we ran into, again, some broken channels in the mod snakes and we had to sort of rethink how we were going to do certain things. And um, it was just, it was a productive day, I think. And I really hope that this, the team here at Barber's Hill finds all of this work useful and helpful. And um, I just, I, I mean, it's just a huge group. Some of these groups are so big, <laughs> I don't know how they do it. So I hope that my, my small part in this can, uh, can help them. Again, y'all have heard me preach it. I just want the directors to be able to focus on their students instead of the audio gear. So take it easy, y'all. Drop any questions or comments about this setup in the comment section below. I'm happy to chime in and kind of explain more if there's more details you want to know about why we did, did it a certain way or how we did things. So until next time, y'all, take it easy. Peace.